meeting you. Young lady, you will brighten my arrival. Thank you. It's fantastic. Just like the Urbino Palace. We've had a few kings and queens here ourselves. How oh, you say, here in America, <laughs> every man is a king. Mark! Congratulations, Lynn. Oh, thank you. Um, Mark Danning, Eduardo Valley. You Eduardo, know? you have married the finest masseuse the St. Gregory ever had. <laughs> and right now, just a very happy guest. Well, enjoy your holiday. If you need anything at all, please let me know. I've already sent him some goodies to munch on. I cannot tell you how much we appreciate this generosity. Uh, we're going to have a magnificent time. Please. So, how is it to be a masseuse? Oh, uh, it's more rewarding than you might think. I think it is very sensual. Uh, it is, but I also calm people's nerves and stimulate circulation. You are very good, I think. I, I try. <laughs> um, it may not be the most important job in the world, but... Uh, no, 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 I think you're wrong. It is important you matter because of your work. I mean, unlike me. Congratulations to you both. Grazie. Just wanted to bring a little gift to the newlyweds. <laughs> oh, 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 Julie, thank you. I'm so happy for you both. Ah, Julie, nowhere in this world are people so good and gracious like you. Where did you guys meet? Uh, last summer, in Rome. Yes, we fall in love. We write to each other passionately. We decide we must be together. I come here as soon as I can to Marilyn. Is so? Oh, is so. <laughs> what do you do, Eduardo? Oh. I am to be in the field of cosmetics. Ooh, it sounds glamorous. Oh, one day my father said to me, when God was feeling very good, he sat down, and he thought of a beautiful country, and he called it the United States. It is my dream to come true. Well, here's to the dream and your new life together. Salute. Thank you. I'll see you in the morning. I'll be right here. How's Lynn? She's very well. Thank you. Are you... Are you having a good time? <laughs> it's magnificent. It is so wonderful here. Welcome to America. Something bothering you, Carl. It's just uh, before I wait on tables in the wrong cafe. Now I eat fine food, I sleep between fine sheets. About to become an American citizen. <laughs> You're finding it difficult adjusting to luxury? Luxury is a fine thing. But perhaps it should not be every day in one's life. You'll get used to it. Just as soon as my husband puts you to work. How do I get used to your husband? Just get used to sending this home to your family every week. 
Tell me one thing, Monica. How do I get used to the idea that I have been bored? I love you. I can't that be enough? Supposed to knock. But we are married, no. Monica's $5,000 buys you a marriage certificate and my company for three months. That's all. Ah, I ask for no more. I am very wicked, Gigolo, you think. I took the money, didn't I? To finish your schooling with. Then please try to understand, Monica is my sponsor. I care for her. I try to give her what a husband cannot. It's your life. But you don't want to spend any more time with me. I wouldn't do that to you. I mean, if immigration were to suspect that we weren't for real, they'd send you back. I'll keep our agreement. Ah, you think it's very bad of me to become an American this way? We both did what we had to do. But can we not be friends? Ah, in Italy? It is the custom for friends to offer gifts on their birthdays. But it's not my birthday. Ah, please, but on your last birthday. I was not here with you. May I? Please. You're really a dear man, Eduardo. I hope you and Monica are happy. Perhaps the only happiness is knowing that we do not always need to be happy. Hi. Hi. Ready for lunch? Uh, yeah. Great. Here it comes. Now, big smile, big smile, smile. Put your arms around each other. <laughs> now, let's see a kiss. Come on, here we go. Nice kiss. Come on. <laughs> 